Hi, today I'll be going over the beauty of the heart of Christ, which is chapter 10 from the book we're reading, Gentle and Lowly. The verse I'll be reflecting on comes from Matthew chapter 10, verse 37. The one who loves a father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. The one who loves a son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Now, I don't know about you, but if I told something like this to my kids, hey kids, if you love mommy more than me, you are not worthy of me. Can you imagine the confusion on my kid's face? Uh, I think my six-year-old will probably be crying. But what is Jesus trying to tell us here in this verse? So I started thinking about what I valued in this world. And I realized there were times where I actually did put family or things or anything else above Christ. And most of the time I was doing this subconsciously. Um, a good example of this is during this pandemic um, and, and how it put a strain on every part of my life. Um, my family, uh, my kids' school, um, my job, my church, my health. I mean, the list goes on. I mean, I was hit, being hit in every part of my life. Um, <clears throat> and honestly, at times, uh, it, it made me feel very frustrated uh, that I didn't have control or I had lost control over the challenges I was facing. Um, and I ended up feeling isolated and, and disappointed with the things I valued in my life. This deep sense of uh, disappointment and frustration uh, uh, meant for me that I had um, lost focus um, on what was the foundation of my life. So the question I had to ask myself is, why is Jesus more worthy than anything else in my life? So as I was reflecting on this uh, chapter, I was reminded of a few things. I was first drawn to God through Jesus. And what I have seen in my life over and over again is his gentle, humble heart, which consistently poured out unconditional love and grace, which honestly is far worth far more than anything else my life had to offer. And so, so what Christ offered was something priceless, something that was definitely worthy to be embraced. Now, the challenge here is this. In order to be worthy of Jesus, as we tie this to the verse we read earlier, we first need to acknowledge and, and embrace Christ, um, his worthiness above all else. I say this as a challenge because this means my walk with Christ must be daily because I need to be consistently reminded of Christ's infinite worth in this world. Another point I wanted to bring up uh, is that God has given me the responsibility of raising up a family and I would do anything for them because of my love for them. But here's the thing, I am not perfect. My family sees my good days and they see my bad days. And usually it's my bad days. Um, but because of my imperfections, this means I have a responsibility to draw my family to Christ. Uh, the author says it best uh, towards the end of this chapter, that our job is to show them that even our best love is just a shadow of a greater love. This means not only am I to embrace Christ above all things, the people God has put into my life should also be drawn to Christ above all things. I hope this reflection um, helps you as you read this chapter. Thank you.